Hi, I'm Ayla White, and I will be reciting my poem called The Side Effects of Prey. Pale beige walls consume me. These four walls stare at me. I thought the only thing I had to fear was the outside world. But now these four walls are my new enemy. My reality. Home. A four-letter word you used to describe a place I use as an escape from my first world problem. But this isn't just a first world problem, this is the whole world's problem. <laughs> All I can do is ask for mercy, mercy to take me out of this bad dream. I feel like Watson McMillan trapped in a prison wanting to scream, why did this happen to me? Why me? No, yeah, no, me. I say those words about every year <laughs> on replay. But it seems like every year the same actions seem to occur like a relay. But this year is different. A pandemic occurred and I started to look at myself a little different. I started to work out more and more every day. Oh, and I'm getting my body right. Oh, and I even started, learned, started to pray. <laughs> Now, I even analyze books like I used to analyze text messages from men. Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean boys. Why did this happen to me? Like, why me? Why did it take a whole pandemic to make me realize that the only investment I'll ever need is investing in myself? <laughs> Six a.m. to 6 p.m. a 12-hour shift. Seems long, right? <laughs> yeah. I remember when I was in nursing school and I used to always think about what my life would be after I became a nurse. I remember I thought, I'm gonna school. I'm going to graduate. I'm going to be a nurse. I'm going to work a nine hour shift, maybe 12, just because I want to. <laughs> and I'm going to go home and watch some Atlanta Housewives. <laughs> How dumb was I? How dumb was I to think that that dream would even come true? They asked me to help them and I don't know what to do. They want, they ask me to help. They ask me to save their lives. I look at them with tears in my eyes and I say, I'm gonna help you when I know that I can't help. We were not ready for her. We still aren't. People around the world are asking us to save the lives of their sons and daughters and fathers. But when we ask for more ventilators, it's like our president won't even bother. I don't know what to do. How can I save lives when I can barely save myself? Why did this have to happen to us? Why us? tomatoes and some pineapples and some ice cream and maybe a little cake mix for dessert <laughs> that has been my grocery list for the past 17 years care for my two babies okay my first baby her name is Sadie she's the youngest she's light brown freckles scattered all over her caramel skin like sprinkles on a cupcake <laughs> and she has this laugh <laughs> that consumes any room that she's in and my oldest Ryder Ryder is my baby boy even though you don't want to acknowledge it he's a real teddy bear under that teenage angst <laughs> for 17 years I've been taking care of those babies by myself 
until now. I got a call from work. They said, we can't have you working here anymore. They're trying to rearrange things. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I think I have enough money saved up for the next two months, so it should be enough. Right? But what if it's not enough? Enough money to take care of the bills in the house, enough money to take care of my kids. Life is so different now. My trips to the grocery store are a little different now. Well, maybe try to find some canned vegetables, anything that can last us a good long time. Um, baby, I'm so sorry, baby. I can't afford that. Maybe, maybe next time, okay? Next time, I promise, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll try to get it for you. Don't touch that. You have to stay away from people, baby. Please, I need you to stay safe. And I need to make sure that you're healthy. Do not touch those things. Why did this have to happen to us? Why us? Thank you.